Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here from the Vanderkinverse. Got another Windows 10 versus Windows 11 showdown. This time it's the Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Gen 2. Uh, interestingly, this time we're, this system has the AMD processor, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I ran it through all the updates. You can see uh, the system update uh, from Lenovo Vantage is complete. All the Windows updates complete. Um, got the battery slider set to uh, medium, so let's go ahead and start the test. So this is a ThinkPad T14 Gen 2, really our Lenovo corporate workhorse, workhorse machine. Uh, has some great uh, capabilities, the ports here, so it's got the Ethernet and uh, Kensington lock and USB-A on that side. On this side it's got uh, HDMI, headphone jack, um, SD card, micro SD card, a USB-A and a couple USB-C ports and mechanical docking there. Um, it's got a fingerprint reader here and a large trackpad as you can see and um, you know the keyboard lights up so which is really cool I love that so uh, that's it it's just running through its final tests here again this one has the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro, the 5850, the 50 there means it's the Pro processor, 16 gig of memory, really nice here, 8 core memory, I think that's going to really give us a good um, Nova Bench score. So, okay, here it is, it just finished, so let's go ahead and write these down, I'll put them on a piece of paper here so that we can um, then update and run it again after we get to Windows 11. So the total overall score is a 3218 which is great and the CPU score is a 2432 the GPU score is a 275 RAM score is a 249 and the disk score was a 262 okay got all that updated here and we will now reboot and start the Windows 11 upgrade process okay we're back this is the ThinkPad T14 Gen 2 on Windows 11. Looks great. Uh, just to verify, I got the slider set the same. In Windows 11, you have to go to the battery. No slider here to set the performance modes. You have to click on the battery, then scroll down and find out where it says balanced. Here it is balanced, so we're still in the same mode. Still plugged in, uh, everything being equal. So let's go ahead and find the NovaBench app in the new start menu which looks all different a lot of you probably haven't seen Windows 11 before but this is it uh, has some really cool features that I like uh, one of them is that uh, the you just hover over the menu options up here you can't really see it now because it's working maybe I'll show you when I get done but uh, it, then it splits the screen up into puts all the windows around the screen in a kind of really neat way it's hard to describe it until I show it to you um, and it has better capabilities of uh, multiple desktops it's down here there's widgets there's the desktops uh, there's the store of course Microsoft definitely wants to use the store but I'd be curious to see how this AMD Ryzen does on Windows 11 a 32 18 overall score on Windows 10 is really good. So uh, let's see what the frames per second is. Only about 26, 27. I thought it would be better. The Iris uh, Intel did a little bit better than that on the frames per second, but it didn't do as good on the overall score. So I wonder how that'll affect uh, the overall, the, the GPU. Okay, about five seconds remaining. 32, 18, and we ended up with... 3266. Okay, so we improved uh, quite a bit on the AMD with Windows 11. So let's go ahead and write down all these scores. We got a 3266 as an overall. Then we've got a CPU score of 2476, a GPU score of 275. A RAM score of 248, 
a disc score of 267. So let's see, where did that um, kind of 40 point delta come from? Looks like a lot of it here is on the CPU performing better in Windows 11 than it did in Windows 10. Uh, GPU is exactly the same, RAM uh, virtually identical, one point different, and the disk a little bit better. So that's where we get our delta from. So kudos to AMD on Windows 11. I don't think you'd notice the difference, um, but I do really like Windows 11. Anybody considering it, check it out. In order to run the upgrade, I had to go um, you know, to a website. It didn't have it set up by default in my update, but I just went to the... Um, Windows uh, website and uh, click start from there and it was ready to go. So quick and simple process took about a half an hour to install Windows 11. Really uh, think it's worth it for anybody. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll check you guys next time. Make sure you, su you subscribe to my channel. Bye everybody.